Dr. Brenda Hunda. I'm curator of invertebrate paleontology at the Cincinnati Museum Center. And as curator, I have many roles here. Um, one of my primary roles is to do scientific research. So I write, conduct um, independent scientific peer-reviewed uh, papers. I'm also an editor of a large um, paleontology journal. Uh, as I also work in the collections. I'm curator of the world's largest upper order vision collection. And as part of that role, I'm responsible for taking care of about half a million fossil invertebrate specimens within the Geyer Collections Facility. I also love working with exhibit development and programming. Um, I like writing educational programs with our education staff. And one of the things I'm most passionate about is doing uh, public community outreach in the forms of lectures and talks where I talk about anything uh, anybody wants to listen to about the Earth. So my research really focuses on understanding variation in natural populations. Um, if you look at the human population, we're all different in our, terms of our shape and our sizes. And other organisms in the fossil record and in life today are much the same. I work on a group of organisms called trilobites. I have in my hand here um, some trilobite heads that I measure to look at how this variation or differences in shape between these specimens work, not only in terms of how the populations are structured, but how these structures changes in response to environmental changes. I wanted to be a paleontologist since I was about three years of age. And I have to credit the fact that I grew up in the middle of nowhere, and my mother kicked me out every day to go and play outside and to explore the world I lived in. So from a very, very early age, I was out trying to dig through the ground to figure out what was down there. I was climbing in the trees. I was getting dirty. I was taking jars and filling up lake water and looking under my microscope to see what was in there. I just always had a natural curiosity of the world and I had an open playground to play in. And from that I think it really stoked the fires of becoming a scientist. So a lot of people think paleontology is more of an esoteric science and that we go out with like fossils from a long time ago. It's a lot of fun but it doesn't have direct relevance. But indeed the fossil record is our long term history of our planet and everything that has happened in our planet has happened in the past. So we can use the fossil record and the geologic record to help inform modern questions that we have about things like climate change, extinction, conservation of biodiversity. And trilobites are really no different. They've been on Earth for over 270 million years and have faced numerous environmental crises and changes. And their responses to these changes help us to understand how animals today might respond to our current climate crisis. There are a lot of things that are rewarding. I think being a paleontologist is probably the best career in the entire world because I get paid to play in the dirt and the mud and be outside all day. Um, but one of the other things I find really the most rewarding about my job is that I get to translate my passion and excitement for science and all aspects to the public and engage them in community conversations. And to me, it's really important that scientists are part of that community conversation so that we can advance um, our major questions and our major topics that we have in science today.